Welcome to another how-to cosplay, this time focusing on the Twelfth Doctor once again, but in Series 9. Now, this is the area of the Twelfth Doctor's era where his outfits start to become more focused on being a bit more casual. So he had to focus on hoodies, jumpers, t-shirts, until the very end, of course, where he gets the delightful red velvet coat. So, we'll go through all that today, and I hope you'll enjoy. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Firstly, let's start off with the coat once again. Series 9 saw the introduction of the camel hair navy coat, thanks to Ray Holman taking over as costume designer. Now let's go through the options that you have to get it. As I mentioned before, the best one out there for me personally is the Abishot 12th Doctor Navy coat, but they have lost the Doctor Who license, which makes things a little bit tricky in this regard. Until something comes along to save it, I have a couple of alternatives though. The Cos Daddy version of the 12th Doctor coat is a really good cosplay entry. It has the lining near the edge and it just looks great. Having been an owner of this coat for many years, it does the trick for sure. However, for those who are looking for more serious options, then Baron Boutique will have you covered with their version of the coat, which is definitely closer to the original and the price tag does indeed reflect that. And of course, Magnoli do one as well, high quality as ever, but again, it's reflected in the price. So make your choice. But the interesting thing here is that with Magnoli, you can change the colour. I wonder why you'd need that. Well, friends, because in Series 9, we got the red velvet coat, and fortunately, there are quite a few stockists for it. Magnoli do an excellent version in velvet, naturally, but should your budget not stretch that far, here are some more alternatives. I'm kind of reverse engineering this, aren't I? Baron Boutique do their own version of the red velvet coat, slightly less expensive and retaining all the detail and quality that you'd want. It's a very flashy piece. Further down the budget list, we have the Cosplay Sky version, which again is legitimately good and an excellent budget saver. It really does work. You may just need to see about getting interior pockets put in and be warned that the lining does stop vertically at a certain point. Next to cover, the white shirt. This one, as I mentioned in my Series 8 video, is my absolute go-to, courtesy of Adam of London. I think it has a great alternative version of the pointed collar that does the job very well. Don't be afraid to use a high street standard white shirt though, if your budget won't cover it. It's absolutely fine, I'm just giving my perspective on this from experience. And of course, don't forget to just get a standard 5 button black waistcoat and you're pretty much sorted for the standard look. Starting with Last Christmas and throughout Series 9, the 12th Doctor started incorporating hoodies into his outfits. Now these aren't just any hoodies, but mostly All Saints Mode Mourinho hoodies in ink, black and dark marine. For the black hoodies, they are still available on the All Saints website. For the ink ones, however, it is not so easy. You may need to track them down from eBay or Depop. Some are still available and are out there. As for the Dark Marine, well, that's a tricky one because that one is now ultra rare to have turn up. Always keep an eye out though. It is an odd colour too, so take care in selecting an alt. Speaking of which, in terms of budget replacement hoodies, feel free to grab one of these as an example in either black or navy or charcoal, and be sure to remove the drawstrings. There is also a dark green John Smedley one worn in under the lake and before the flood, but that is notoriously hard to come by itself. Again, feel free to grab an alternative one, as basically you're just looking for a hoodie in dark green. Hopefully this one will come in useful. Next up, the 12th Doctor wore t-shirts for a few episodes in Series 9. I know, t-shirts. They were certainly quite a divisive choice when they uh, first came on screen, but personally, I really quite like them. Anyway, these were the Label Lab t-shirts in Misty Mountain and Negative Flower, and one that was not Label Lab, you guessed it, is the Space Shark. Fortunately, Redbubble have you covered, having done all three of these t-shirts, with huge credit to user Timey Wimey Spacey, who has recreated the three of them. Definitely worth an investment if you're willing to cosplay any of these variants. The Holes Jumper continues to be a staple of the 12th Doctor's costume into Series 9. As I mentioned in my Series 8 episode, I got Pertry Frill's amazing replica, but otherwise it's a tricky one to get around, as the jumper is so hard to find, and even if you do, it is pretty expensive. So as I said before, try and give it a go yourself. I'm keeping the guide by Morgan Fox in the description below, giving you hints and tips on how to make your own Holes Jumper. It's the best way to handle things until another replica comes onto the market. Now, in terms of wearing it, for Series 9 you'll either wear it with a red t-shirt for the woman who lived look, or a white one for all the other Hulls jumper looks. Next up, the trousers. 
which means even more variation. Dark trousers for the regular Holes Jumper, Space Shark or Red Velvet variants, but for the other variants, now it gets a little bit more complicated. Now you'd want plaid trousers in either grey, blue or dark grey of red stripes. Now the most cost effective way to do this is to go for plaid pyjama bottoms because they usually have the patterns that will work the best. You may have to do a bit of searching around though or even fabric dyeing for a truly satisfactory result though, but it's the easiest way. Though you could go and search for different pairs of plaid trousers and just see which fits you best to be honest. If you'd like to find the accurate trousers then it's important to note that the Magician's Apprentice pair were custom made so it may be tricky finding a similar or accurate fabric. The Girl Who Died trousers are still available from Mendoza Menswear for a very limited run of 40 pairs as of the upload of this video. They're not cheap, but feel free to give it some thought. And the Women Who Lived trousers are known as Hugo Boss Caleb Plaid trousers. Keep an eye on eBay in case a pair turns up, I was dead lucky to get a pair myself. As for the shoes, you need black brogue shoes. Whether you go with Doc Martens or Lokes or anything else is entirely down to you. Once you know what they look like, you can go for something that has the same vibe. As I said before, check eBay or Depop or your local high street shoe store. And finally, a fairly divisive entry for Series 9 but one to remember anyway, the Sonic Shades. I know, they were totally something. Anyway, fortuitously these are quite easy to obtain, you don't actually need to fork out a load of money on actual Ray-Bans. All you need to do is grab these lookalikes off eBay for cheap. For the sake of cosplay they are perfectly fine and dandy. And so to round off. Here is the complete list of main variants the Doctor wore in Series 9. The Misty Mountain variant, as seen in The Magician's Apprentice and The Ridge is Familiar. The Series 8 Redo variant, as seen in the flashback sequence of The Ridge is Familiar and Class Episode 1 for Tonight We Might Die. The Holes Jumper and Green Hoodie variant, as seen in Under the Lake and Before the Flood. The Negative Flower variant, which was a one-off scene in The Girl Who Died. The Red Holes and Dark Marine Hoodie variant which was also a one-off seen in The Woman Who Lived. The Holes and Hoodie variant which was seen in the pre-titles of The Magician's Apprentice and The Zygon Two-Parter. The Holes plus Ink Hoodie variant which appeared in Sleep No More and also went on to appear in Oxygen of Series 10. The Space Shark variant which only appeared in the pre-titles of Face the Raven. And finally, The Red Velvet Ensemble which appeared in multiple episodes from Face the Raven all the way up to World Enough and Time of Series 10, but it's best known from its appearance in Heaven Sent. So, that was my how to cosplay for the 12th Doctor in Series 9. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it provides a helpful base for any of you who want to go out there and create this outfit for yourselves. As always, feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see similar videos to this one and next time we'll be covering Series 10 of the 12th Doctor's outfit. So again, that might take a little bit of time because there is a lot of outfits to research. So, until then, see ya!